And we're off. And we have a matchup between the Mario Brothers and D-Generation X. I mean, you guys already know who the Mario Brothers are. I don't have to explain who they are. But as for D-Generation X, for those of you who have never seen them before, I mean, it, they consist of four members, but you only have half of them fighting the Mario Brothers. Uh, but the one guy that I do want to talk about is the man they call X-Pac. I mean, Triple H is dealing with Mario, but the guy dealing with Luigi, that's X-Pac. But the thing about X-Pac is that, you know, for lack of a better word... Oh, wait a minute, pinfall! Nope, can it kick out by Luigi. Uh, the thing about X-Pac is that, for lack of a better word, he lived a past life. And Mario, wait a minute, a moonsault on the Triple H. But no, uh, X-Pac, he lived, uh, you could say he lived a past life. And the thing is, you know, would you believe it if I told you that X-Pac used to be a singer? Because, I mean, he, he was performing in a concert like he usually does. And then one of the most, you know, I don't want to say it was heinous, but it was a freak accident nonetheless. And that accident was that one of the speakers about the size of his head fell from the ceiling and it hit him in the head. And what it did was, one, he thinks he's X-Pac, but he doesn't remember who he was. I mean, I know who he was, but he doesn't. So it's safe to say he has amnesia. And... And as for who he was, you are looking at the man they formerly call Cat Stevens. So yes, Cat Stevens is X-Pac, and X-Pac is Cat Stevens. They're one and the same person, but I mean, but, but, but before this heinous accident occurred, he was just simply Cat Stevens, and now he's X-Pac. I mean, because, I mean, I mean, look at the resemblance. You know why? Because that is him. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about X-Pac. Meanwhile, what's Luigi doing? Oh, wait a minute, he's got a table, but what's he going to set it up for? And X-Pac just doing his thing. A back suplex on a Mario. Meanwhile, Luigi, having his sets, his sights set on uh, X-Pac, just rams Triple H with that uh, table. He was trying to go for X-Pac, but he missed, and ends up hitting uh, Triple H instead. A drop kick to Triple H. And now, what's X-Pac doing? I mean, don't, don't be surprised if I alternate between X-Pac and Cat Stevens, because they're one and the same person. And I'm not sure what Triple H was doing. It, oh, well, Mario took the ladder from X-Pac, a backbreaker onto Luigi, and X-Pac just hammered Mario with a fist, and a couple of fists right to Luigi. Now, it's Luigi who has a problem with uh, X-Pac, but X-Pac, wait a minute, one, no, kick out by Mario. Now, wait a minute, Triple H has the ladder. And he's going to set it up for whatever reason. And Triple H also takes away the crutch. And, okay, well, you missed there, but... And now X-Pac has those steel steps. I mean, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of crazy shit going on. And now, he just took somebody's soda. What the hell, man? Oh, and Mario just got rammed with those steel steps. And, well, okay, well, he almost hit him again, but he didn't. Oh, but he hits him again with those steel steps, and Luigi got him with that crutch. But a clothesline right to Luigi. 
No, not even a one count on the Luigi. Uh, excuse me, I had a little bit too much to eat, so forgive me. Anyways, now Mario has those steel steps, but X-Pac beats him to the punch again. All but a drop kick onto X-Pac to send him onto the floor. Oh, wait a minute, Triple H! Pedigree! A pedigree right to Luigi! And Luigi somehow managed to avoid getting hit with the ladder. And now he takes the ladder from Triple H. And he just rams him in the face with it. Uh, meanwhile, X-Pac, dealing with Mario. And Triple H takes the ladder back. Nope. Luigi takes it back. And Mario kicks X-Pac in the face back inside the ring. And Triple H... Oh, now he has those steel steps. A back suplex on an X-Pac. Now Luigi sets the ladder up there for some reason. Okay, now all four men are back... No, never mind. And now Triple H going to tear down the announce table. And now, wow, he's also taking the other steps. And Triple H, oh, rams Luigi in the head with it. The ladder, I mean. And a spinning heel kick on to Mario. And uh-oh, Mario is pissed. But an arm drag right to Mario. Not sure why Luigi's setting up the ladder. This is not a ladder match, by the way. And Mario... Ooh, and a nice face buster right to X-Pac. Wait a minute, now Triple H has those steps again. And Luigi has those crutches. Mario going for an ankle lock onto X-Pac. <laughs> that rhymed. And now Triple H bringing in those steel steps. Wait a minute. A suplex back in the ring goes Luigi. And a takedown by X-Pac. And now Triple H with those steel steps. Ooh, nice forearm. Inverted atomic drop. And a scoop and a slam right to Triple H. I mean, all four men have... Wait a minute. One. Two. No, just a one count on Triple H. I almost forgot to mention this is... Oh, wait a minute. Flatliner. Flatliner right to X-Pac. And wait a minute. In the ring. Pile driver. Pile driver. Oh, wait a minute. Luigi and... Triple H have been busted open. I didn't even notice that. Then again, uh, the camera is focusing on all four men, so uh, it is kind of difficult from a bird's eye point of view to know that. And Luigi missed. And meanwhile, Mario and uh, X-Pac fighting over the ladder. Only this time, X-Pac manages to hit Mario with the ladder. And again. And now all four men are on the outside. Rammed into the table is Luigi and... Uh-oh, wait a minute. And Triple H is... Um, okay, Triple H, you can get on top of the table or whatever, but... Okay, now Triple H is on top of the table along with Luigi, but Luigi... Oh, no! No! A pedigree through the table, my god! Oh, that has to do it. One, no, kick out by Luigi. What? I mean, a pedigree is bad enough, but on the table, I mean... I mean, that, that, that should have finished him right there. Wait a minute. One, two, three, and Mario has been eliminated by X-Pac. So now Luigi is in deep trouble now as he'll have to fight off Triple H and X-Pac by himself. And 
Luigi realizing that the numbers are not in his favor. And a kick right to the side of the head. And oh, oh, you, oh wow, X-Pac has also been uh, busted open. So all three men have been busted open at some point. Oh, a drop kick right to uh, X-Pac. And X-Pac takes away the ladder. And now Luigi takes those steel steps and rams it into X-Pac. And he does it again. And he does it again. And, no wait, uh, X-Pac takes the steel steps away from Luigi. But he puts him down instead. And Triple H from behind. Ooh, and then a kick right to the face of uh, Triple H. Wait a minute, pitfall. One. No, kick out by Triple H. And a back elbow right to Luigi. And Luigi still in deep trouble. Oh, and then a kick right to the back of Triple H. I'll tell you one thing. He is holding his own uh, against both members. But I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Oh, and Triple H falls down. And a clothesline right to uh, Luigi. And whoa, whoa. Uh, X Pac accidentally hit his own partner. And I think he might have accidentally hit Triple H with that ladder. And Luigi uses the ladder on Triple H. And he just hit him in the head with that. Picks up the ladder again and sets it up for some odd reason. I don't know why he's doing that. Wait a minute, pinfall. One, two, no, kick out by Triple H. I mean, I'll give Triple H a lot of credit. I mean, I mean, he hasn't given up, and neither has Luigi. Nope, Luigi takes the ladder away. Both members of DX go back in the ring. And Luigi trying to play cat and mouse with them. I mean, he knows he's outnumbered, so he has to find a way to divide and conquer. Now, Luigi's back in the ring, and, uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, I mean, they are woozy, so I, I should have expected that much. And now, Luigi with a kendo stick, what's he going to use it on? Oh, but uh, he whips Triple H into the ropes, but uh, Triple H accidentally trips over those steel steps. And Luigi... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Gonna go for it again. A pile driver right to Triple H again. And a pinfall cover. One, two, three, and... I cannot believe this. Luigi was able to eliminate Triple H. And now we are down to the two men that absolutely hated each other. In fact, it was these two men that demanded this match. Well, actually, it was Luigi that demanded a match with uh, Cat Stevens, but... But, yeah, it's down to the two guys that absolutely hate each other. And the reason we even have this match. So we'll find out who's going to settle the score tonight. Right now. Luigi has that ladder. And uh, X-Pac has that crutch. I mean, both these men have been busted open. I don't know how much more they can take. With all the punishment they've taken. I mean, they're so woozy. It's it, it's not unusual for them to not think straight. Oh, and a drop kick onto X Pac. Whipped into the barricade on a headbutt right to Luigi, and that might do it. I don't know. One no kick out by Luigi. I don't know how Luigi is just finding the strength to stay in this, but he is. And, um, oh, what, what, what the heck is he doing? 
Well, I guess the loss of blood is really getting to his head. And a hurricane runner right to uh, Luigi. Oh, whip hit with those steps again. Well, not the steps, sorry, the, the ladder, I meant. Now Luigi has the ladder. Luigi sets up the ladder for some odd reason, and now... Now, X-Pac is playing cat and mouse here. Oh, wait a minute. A sunset flip with a pinfall. One, two. No, kick out by Luigi. He almost had him there. Almost had, uh, wait a minute. Pin, wait. Oh, he went, he had a, uh, back suplex with a pinfall cover, but no. X-Pac kicked out. Not even a one count. On, w hit with those, uh, ladder, uh, sorry. Got hit with that ladder by, uh, X-Pac. And X-Pac is just hammering away with that ladder. And a drop kick onto, onto, uh, X-Pac. Then a leg sweep. Pinfall. One. No. I tell you one thing, this is one of the most brutal matches I've seen in a long time. And X-Pac just fighting back. And whipped inside the uh, inside the ring and then an elbow right to Luigi. But so, for some reason they just keep going after that ladder. I don't know why. Oh, and hit with that ladder again. Ooh, and another shot with that ladder. But X-Pac takes the ladder. And he uses it on Luigi. And now Luigi takes the ladder back. And he hits X-Pac in the head with it. And now X-Pac gets back in the ring. All but X-Pac pulls him down. And is that it? One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, the loss of blood finally got to him. And, G and uh, D Generation X wins the match as X-Pac, Cat Stevens, wins it for his team. So, X-Pac is the sole survivor. I mean, he wins it for his team, obviously, but um, in addition to the money, like, everybody's going to get paid their salary. You know, that's assuming they lose, but if they win, uh, they win bonus money, obviously. And the bonus was $300 to the winner, or winners, so, X-Pac is going to take the $300 bonus for winning this match. But, I have to say, this was one of the most brutal matches I've seen in a long time. But we'll find out what the main event will hold. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up right after this.